Can I just tell a quick story about an encounter sure. I had with Nick Wooster? Oh, yeah, sure. It's funny. I've, I've got a, it's got a story, you too. A story uh, too. Okay, well, I'll tell uh, mine. It's, it's awful. It's awful. Oh, no. <laughs> you, you first. Okay, I'll tell mine first. This is, this is really funny. So back when this all started for me, I launched He Spoke Silent 2013. Things happened really fast. And that next summer, it was the summer of 2014, there's, so there's an affiliate program here in America called Reward Style. Have you heard of it? I think I've heard, but it could reconnect it to something. Yeah, re Reward Style. And they were throwing a big party. This is back when in New York Fashion Week, still happened in Lincoln Center Plaza. Like that was where all mm -hmm. this stuff happened and that's where all the street style photos were taken. So across the street from Lincoln Center is a hotel called the, oh, what is it? I can't remember the name of the hotel, but it's a famous hotel. And Reward Style was having a rooftop party for all the people that they worked with and so on during New York Fashion Week in the summer. So I went and uh, there's a huge line out the door to get in and I get in the line and the girls are, you know, they're coming by and like taking everyone's name on the iPad, you know, and they, I was way in the back and Nick Wooster is right behind me or he gets, he's in front of me or behind me, one or the other, we're right next to each other. So I, I have no shame. So I just started talking with him. He seemed like a super nice guy. So the girls with the iPads coming through and she comes to me, she's, oh, Brian, because they knew me. I'd been to a couple of their other events in the past. Brian, come on, just go to the front. And they like walked right past Nick Wooster. I'm like, who am I? I'm no one. This guy is a legend and you don't even recognize him. So I was like, hmm. I said, hey, this is my friend Nick. Can he come with us? <laughs> so we went up to the roof and it was nice. And we, he was, he was a very nice guy. We had a nice conversation. And then the other funny thing that happened up there was that he people just didn't know who he was at this thing i i couldn't i couldn't believe it but so someone some like influencer girl i don't even remember who she was asked nick to take her photo like in front of the whatever was mm. Kevin repeat that they had <laughs> like there's this influencer girl who's nobody asking this icon nick wooster doesn't even know who he is hey can you take a picture of me with my phone how did he react it was very uh, generous and polite, and he he did it. I have a photo of him taking that photo. We'll put that up for the people watching the video. Yeah, mm, nice. Yeah, no, he was he was very very kind, very smart, very intelligent. We had a great conversation, and that's my that was my first encounter with him, and it was a positive one. So, mm -hmm. your turn. <laughs> <laughs> It's so embarrassing because uh, that was at, at Pity Wobble. Um, I mean, his reaction was looking back to now, he was he was a gentleman. Mm -hmm. But um, at that point, um, I was with another influencer. His name is uh, on Instagram was JJ88Fashionist. You remember this very flashy dressed mm -hmm. Swiss guy? He was like wearing white pants with uh, color sprinkles on it and red blazers and green ties and yellow hats. That's what he was dressed like. What year was He's really cool. What year was this? What huh? year was this? Oh, that's, I think that was like 2017 or something oh. around okay. that, that time. And, um, we were downstairs in the pit, um, in the pity building and, um, we saw Nick Wooster standing in a corner with a woman talking and JJ was like, Oh, I, I got a pic. I got to have a picture with Nick Wooster. And, um, we were like, okay, we'll wait. We're at a group of three or four people. And uh, he was standing there and standing there and waiting. And I was like, what are you waiting for? He's like, I don't know. I think he's talking to that woman. I was like, yeah, but dude, we, we want to go upstairs. So hurry up. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I was like, I'm going to do this for you. I went, went up to Nick Wooster. was like, excuse me, Mr. Wooster, can we have a picture with you? He's like, I'm in an interview right now. Oh. Can you please? <laughs> yeah. And, and I felt kind of, kind of, like he was, he was, uh, being re very respectful towards towards the women because mm -hmm. uh, he was in an interview situation. It was just a random guy coming up and disturbing them, yeah. and that was that was not cool of me. But to me, in that moment, I felt so ashamed. And I feel like if if he sees me again, he exactly knows who I am because he felt really he was very mad at that oh, moment. Oh, that's too but, bad. But you did. But it was you didn't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, you didn't know. She'd have a microphone or anything, mm -hmm. did she? I can't remember, but. Um, 
yeah that that's that's the only re that's the only memory I have on Dick Wooster. Uh, it's like him telling me like dude back up I was oh like, no damn mm. I thought you were gonna be like well you know there were a couple guys with boom microphones and there were like 10 cameras around their video oh, no. No, <laughs> just not at all no, not, not that it's just <laughs> But that's that's the only memory I have of Nick Wooster, and uh, yeah, it's it's funny that you always always remember something something negative so so intensely. Oh, because I mean, he didn't he do, didn't do anything to me, but he was just being kind towards her, and I felt kind of insulted. But at the end, he was super super correct and very polite towards yeah. her, and that was that's a good. Thing. I'm sure it would be water under the bridge if you met him again. <laughs> I hope so, but I don't think so. Oh. Still. Oh. <laughs>